The uh, president, President Trump, sat down with the press yesterday. Speaking of the Great White Hope, this happened in Washington, D.C., and he did it to talk about a new trade deal with China and the ongoing crisis at the Mexican border. I have to tell you, there is a crisis at the border. They don't want you to know it. The Democrats don't want you to know it because they want the votes. Uh, the president said that China had been profiting off of the U.S. unfairly and that uh, we routinely lose billions to China. So he's working on a new deal. This is from CBS. He also mentioned that China has been smuggling drugs through the southern borders and that Mexico fails to stop them. We have two problems. We have the fact that they allow people to pour in to our country. We have to stop them. Border Patrol's been incredible. ICE has been incredible. Law enforcement's been incredible. And the other problem is drugs. Massive amounts of, a large, most of the drugs, much of the drugs coming into our country come through the southern border in all different ways. Unfortunately, now we have China sending fentanyl to Mexico so it can be delivered into the United States. It's not acceptable. He's also going to uh, punish Mexico uh, uh, by placing a uh, tariff on Mexican cars. Here's that sound bite. The second aspect of it is, which you haven't heard before, is that if the drugs don't stop, Mexico can stop them if they want. We're going to tariff the cars. The cars are very big. And if that doesn't work, we're going to close the border. If we don't see uh, people apprehended and brought back to their countries, if we see these massive caravans coming up to our country right through Mexico, coming right through Mexico, like nothing. Buses are even given to them. For the last three days, it hasn't happened since I said we're closing the border. The only thing frankly better but less drastic than closing the borders to tariff the cars coming in. And I will do it, just like you, you know I will do it. I don't play games. I'll do it. Daddy is home. Amazing. Trump is from the good old school or the old school when boys were boys and men were men. And I've never seen a president be so honest and open and direct about putting America first in spite of the opposition. This is from Fox, the DHS Secretary, Kirsten Nelson, visit the border and call for Congress to send resources. They've seen a huge spike in the number of groups and unaccompanied minors that have been showing up and turning themselves in to agents. Bed space is scarce. In fact, over capacity by about 280 percent, according to the feds. They say that they're quickly reaching a point where they will be unable to humanely care for the migrants. Secretary Nielsen tweeting this yesterday from El Paso. I'm quoting here, I've called on Congress to give DHS the authority and resources needed to stem the flow of illegal migration, fueling the emergency at our border. Families and unaccompanied children should not be collateral damage to our political dysfunction. Just imagine for one second that the Democratic Party, the Democrat Party, the people who voted for these folks in the Democratic Party refuse to protect you. They are saying, to hell with you. I want your vote. I want the illegal aliens vote. votes. A lot of people left the Democratic Party. They feel that I feel like you're not going to vote for me. So I'm going to let these people in, even if China is bringing drugs, even as Allah who up by folks are coming in to kill you, even if the drug lords are sending drugs and those uh, gang members will kill you, we don't care. We want the vote. Ha, 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 the jokes is on you. You voted for me, but I'm not setting you free. Just think about that, folks. And then they don't have to worry about it because they live behind gated, gated communities. They have bodyguards. They have guns. They have protection, but the folks that live down the hill, below the hill, don't, and they don't care. 
and yet you still vote for them. And then the illegal aliens, they have learned and been told when well, the way you get in, bring some children with you, bring some women. And America is going to go, oh, the poor women and children. It's the children. And the people are going to fall for it, and they'll let you in. Put your feet on American soil. They'll let you in. They are telling you the illegal aliens that. And they are playing with your false emotions by telling you, oh, it's the children. The Daily Mail slash U.S. Custom and Border Protection, here's footage of illegal aliens crossing the border illegally. Look at that. Amazing. These people don't respect you. They are forcing their way into your home, even when you have a look. They got a little fist up around them. Isn't that amazing? So if these illegal aliens are forcing their way into your country, what would stop them from forcing their way into your homes? Right? These are not decent people. These are not honest people. These are not good people. Good people don't deliberately force their way into your country. When you say, no, don't come in, they're not going to force their way in and say, to hell with you. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.